Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. In this video, what we are going to do is to determine how much uh, ground pressure per square inch this 70,400 uh, Sherman tank is exerting to the ground. So the first thing we need to know is uh, to calculate the, the total surface area of the track that is in direct contact with the ground by measuring first the length of the track from here because we know that the, the track here is already inclining so this one is not uh, directly con in contact with the ground it only starts here up to there as you see here it's about uh, look at that it's about 155 inch That's the length of the track in direct contact with the ground. Look at that. The next thing we need to do is to measure the weight of the track. That's about 23. It's about 23 inches. Okay, so next thing we need to know is take a look underneath and so we have this two track and we need to multiply the width of the track which is uh, about 23 inches times the length of the track that is in direct contact with the ground times 2 because we have two tracks so 155 inches times 23 inches times 2 it's going to give us about 7,130 square inch in total. So that's the surface area of the track that is in direct contact with the ground. Now, over here, as you can see, this is Sherman tank. It's about 32 tons. This tank is about 32 tons, which is uh, which translates to about 32,000 kilograms. And if we are going to convert this to pounds, we are going to multiply it with 32,000 pounds times 2.2 pounds. So this tank is as heavy as about 70,400 pounds. Yeah, that's right guys, so this tank is heavy, 70,400 pounds. Now, if we are going to divide it with the total surface area of the track that is in direct contact to, with the ground, that is about 7,130 square inches, it's going to give us about 9.87 pounds per square inch. So this big Sherman tank is only exerting about 10 pounds per square inch to the ground. Is that you ask Will because we have a very wide uh, track which uh, distributes the weight of the track tank to the ground. So the wider the surface area of the track in direct contact with the ground the, the less contact uh, pressure the tank is exerting to the ground okay so what's the significance of knowing uh, the ground pressure of the what what is the ground uh, pressure that this tank is exerting to the ground is uh, let's talk about that in a minute okay let's uh, consider that if uh, I'm, I'm 180 pounds if I'm going to tip to stand on my feet in just uh, and I'm going to tiptoe like this so it's only about maybe one inch one square inch of a portion of my feet is in contact with the ground so what happened is I'm exerting about 180 pounds per square inch to the ground which in essence makes me heavier per square inch compared with this tank 
thank you guys for watching and if you have any question i uh, please uh, write your comments below and let's talk about this